Warsaw, 19th of September 2014. This year, the European Union Contest for Young Scientists, aka USIS, has landed in Poland. Welcome to USIS. Welcome to USIS and welcome to Warsaw. Welcome to USIS. <laughs> welcome to USIS. Welcome to USIS! Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will enjoy our program and thank you for sharing this evening with us. The opening ceremony of the event takes place in the prestigious National Theatre of Warsaw. On the menu, acrobats, quirky musicians and many more artists. An intimate show of incredible beauty and grace. Edition, the contest brings together 110 young researchers and innovators from 36 different states. Most European countries are represented, but the competition goes far beyond the borders of the Union, with teams coming from as far as China, Canada, New Zealand or the United States. Warsaw has seen spectacular growth in the second half of the last century. In the 1990s, that process took another strong turn when Poland switched to a market economy. Let us go back to the contest. Over three days, the young competitors explain all the nitty-gritty of their science projects to the jury and the public in a prestigious venue, the Library of the University of Warsaw. It is the largest university of Poland, with 53,000 students spread over 20 faculties. I'm a professor at the University of Warsaw, but here the main organizer, the chairman of the organizing committee. For us, as I mentioned, 20 years of uses, 10 years of European Union, 25 years of full democracy, so that's the very special occasion and we try to make it as good as possible. 77 projects have been selected this year. USIS embraces a broad range of disciplines from engineering or nanotechnology, through to robotics, biology, mathematics, physics, chemistry, environmental sciences, medicine, as well as the social sciences. I'm Karen Slavin and I work for the European Commission and one of my jobs is looking after the European Union contest for young scientists. USES was set up to encourage children to take an interest in science and hopefully to pursue careers in science and technology and, and engineering. We're very short of scientists in Europe at the moment and uses as one of the ways that the European Commission see as a means to encouraging more, to find more scientists. Each member state of the European Union have science competitions and the winners of these competitions are selected to come to uses. Alongside a dozen other projects, the project of these twin sisters from the UK has piqued the jury's interest. Our study was looking at to see if a protein could be used as a diagnostic tool for cancer. We did the first studies on spheroids, which are 3D models of tumours, and that's what our project's about. Thanks to their work on the PHLIP protein, we will soon be able to diagnose different types of cancer from the earliest stages of the disease, which means that patients will have better chances of remission. So far our results show that it can be used, um, but we need further research, obviously needed because um, we need to check, we worked on cells, but we need to work to see if it will work on humans. But our 
preliminary study shows that it does work and that this protein does seem to target cancer. If it gets far as to the clinical stages, it will be a huge breakthrough, yeah. Like Amita and Anita, most participants have done their research work as part of a group, but other contestants fly solo, like Emil Bulo Pedersen, who has developed a low cost artificial hand. This is an optical sensor I made that um, works by detecting muscle deformation. You'll feel like you're just touching something because the brain kind of rewires itself to just understand that now it's touching the table. And I wanted it to be able to feel stuff and to actually be used in, in a work setting so that people could get, get their jobs back and live a normal life. Alongside the main competition are organised a range of conferences and workshops, including a photo exhibition, showing some of the best results of a photo contest part of the Science It's a Girl Thing campaign. This campaign encourages young women to embrace research careers. This year, there are three winners. Uh, we are from Slovakia and we are uh, in IB. We are studying mostly biology and chemistry. It wasn't actually really an idea. We were basically doing an experiment on uh, chemistry class and basically something interesting started to happen. The, the, the chemicals started to lose color, so it was like disappearing. And we had a camera next to us, so we just started taking photos and we just sent it. We are all a bit feministic, so it was a chance to prove that women in science would be a good thing. And, that we could maybe participate later in our lives. USIS also allows a flurry of side activities to keep the contestants' minds busy and entertained. One of the favourite activities is a team building exercise. The goal is to build the highest possible structure made of plastic straws. Not nice, not best, but let's try more. But the tower's base cannot be bigger than an A4 size sheet of paper. The participants can also pose for a lab-inspired photo shoot. The pictures are then uploaded onto the user's Facebook page. When the competition day is over, the fun continues with visits of prestigious sites across the city. Tonight, the participants are invited to the Copernica Science Centre, a museum that displays more than 450 interactive exhibits to discover and decipher the laws of science. After a short night's sleep, it's time to head back to the university's library. The third day of the competition will be decisive. All participants are ready for the home stretch. This young engineer has developed a system to educate users about electronics and programming concepts. My goal was to prove that young people can easily understand, learn and build complex smart devices ready for Internet of Things. Uh, this is the history of my development. This is my first experiment uh, with a paper. And I built it when I was a little, little boy and uh, I like electronics. I don't know why, but I love electronics and I want to prove this is a beautiful thing. And uh, this is the first uh, version and this is the fifth version. And now it's ready for distribution. I built my old uh, version and my old experiments with myself. And uh, these two like a uh, parallel learning method. This means why we are building the learning. Meanwhile, the jury is holding its daily meeting in a special room. All 18 jury members are well-respected scientists with an international profile, and they will soon decide who are the winners of this edition of USIS. We look for originality, of course, and creativity, but also how much own work has been done by the contestants. But also you tend to ask about the background, if they know really the subject and also maybe the impact of what they've done. We come together and we usually have a kind of summit of what has happened. 
Picking the laureates is no easy task. Hello, I'm Jan and I'm a jury member and former winner of this competition. One of the difficult tasks for the jury is to determine whether uh, the project was uh, came from the contestant or from a teacher. We want to know that there has been um, appropriation of the topic and that that it's really a personal, uh, personal project. Jury members visit several stands according to their field of expertise. The pressure is getting higher. But Marina and Matilda are staying cool. These two Portuguese contestants have developed a biomonitoring system using mollusks, a project called Smart Snails. They are smart in the way that they help us to detect the chemicals in the water and they help us do a test that is cheap, quick and it's very precise and it takes just a little bit of space. What we do is uh, if the things work in the snails, the baby snails, then you proceed to test making a, sele a selection of the chemicals that will work or not. So it's easy, an easy process basically. Here's Monica. Her project studies how bumblebees contribute to biodiversity. She is loving every minute of her useless adventure and feels fortunate to be in Warsaw. Prize for me and awards to be here. It's not really serious to just um, talk about my project. I just wanted to show people and share my passion with them and I'm really happy if they, if they like it. At the end of the last day of presentations, Yusis welcomes another prestigious guest, Lech Walesa, former Polish president, who initially trained as an electrician. Yes, it's really cool. The Nobel Peace Prize has kept a strong interest in research and science and pays a detailed visit to the Yusis stands. Ale interesuje mnie jak młodzież rozwija się. I jakie, jakie szanse mamy na przyszłość, co kombinują, jak rozwój idzie. Zawsze mnie interesowała technika, technologia. W związku z tym lubię oglądać nowe rzeczy. After this full on day, there is even more on the program. The young scientists visit the center of Warsaw to witness how the old town was rebuilt after the destruction of World War II. Since then, the historic centre has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, this is the most important and nicest, you know, uh, street in Warsaw. So all the tourist attractions, monuments, they are located here. The closing day has finally arrived. The contestants gather in the university's auditorium maximum for the highly anticipated prize-giving ceremony. Well, one of the things that's very important is that uh, we encourage more young people to have a career in science, to study science and mathematics. And we see every year the numbers are rising, there's huge competition, everybody's very pleased to be part of the whole competition, and it encourages young people. And we saw that young people who have won in their own countries come here and win, and then go on, like the winners last year, have now gone on to win at the big Google Science Fair in California. So there's a great buzz, and it's a great, I think, encouragement to young people. Hello, super brains. It's really cool to have all you here in one room. This year, once again, USIS awards a number of prizes worth a combined 62,500 euros. Many participants also win trips to top-notch research institutes and international science events. And the prize goes to Czech Republic, Lubos Wozdelski. Now, ladies and gentlemen, João Pedro Estacio Gaspar Contalves de Araujo. Anna de Pino Garcia, Martin Gonzalez, Morena da Silva. Girls, come join us. <laughs> it's overwhelming. We can't.
can't believe that we actually won. We just came here for the experience and yeah. it's been an amazing week and we are just so excited. I'm really proud. I, I really didn't expect it so it's even nicer. Really surprised. It was awesome. I, I, I don't know what to say. Right now I'm kind of hysterically laughing so I don't know when it will end. <laughs> Because the only word that is good enough to express my feelings is a very long word, super califragilisticexpialidocious. Who are the future? Uses 2014 winners. The 2014 edition of Uses is now coming to an end. See you next year with more brilliant minds in Milan, Italy.